morning guys it is half past five in the morning and as always Yoshi has decided she wants to set off at the crack of dawn um, we're only going to Nico you see normally we take a we get a few hotel rooms over there we're only going to Nico which is three hours away so she reckons we can do it in one day which is fine but I go to bed at about two every day because I don't know why I just I just work till about 11 then normally sort of like chill out till about 12 get ready for bed and then watch a film sort of or watch something um, I'm watching a series at the minute on uh, how to grow your own medical drugs things like that not drugs drugs you know as in like pharmaceutical uh, help right but I'm off to Nico I'm off to uh, the grave of Tokugawa Iyasu and that is raining and Yoshi said she'd bring me a spare small umbrella so um, I am just like to complain about the time and Yoshi making me come out at this ridiculous time when I went to sleep at about 2 so uh, I think I'll be asleep on the train on the way home and the tea shop's closed hmm alright alright guys let's go to uh... oh by the way the reason we're going to Nikos is we're going to visit Tokugawa Yasu's grave which of course Tokugawa Yasu took over the country and uh, Natori uh, would have probably undoubtedly gone with his lord to visit the grave in Nico. so we're going to try and follow the footsteps again and show you guys I found a cup of tea. Oh, thank you, Lord. Right, guys, I'm here with the Yoshmeister. Here she is. We just found this restaurant and uh, it was on the bus. It says Ninja Ramen. Very, I don't know why, but you know, usual. Right, guys. So it is a little bit rainy, and I've got the old brolly up, but it's one of the lakes. We've come halfway up. We were going to do a 10k walk today and end up at the, um, what's it called, at the shrine, but it's just started hammering down and it's pretty cold and miserable, so we're going to do a shorter walk. However, even though Yoshi agrees, don't you, Yoshi? <laughs> Agree, shift that umbrella, even though you agree, <laughs> you're actually calling me a princess. <laughs> right guys, there's a myth here where apparently um, it used to be bad for you to bring ox or cattle or horses, four-legged four animals basically, through into the temple, into, sorry, into the shrine. And um, this is apparently one that came in and got turned to stone. He, some, his owner brought him in and it's been stone ever since. Right guys, we're, at, uh, we're just, at the, basically this uh, shrine is at the bottom of a mountain and you see here it says how many times people have climbed mountains, that guy is 99, this mountain specifically, 79, 73, 51, but the top guy, the person, or girl, I don't know, the, is it a man or a woman is it? The top man has climbed it 1,223 times. Right guys, we're obviously walking around the lake, still raining. Uh, I just want to show you this, it looks like dirty water, like it's sewage water or something like that. But it's not, it's actually from an onsen and you can smell the sulphur. It's almost like when you make gunpowder, it smells the same. It's quite, in fact it's a bit hard on your throat, it makes you want to cough. And we're just above a little trickle of the river. Right, we're uh, stopped off. There's the Yoshmeister. We've actually stopped Yoshe being an absolute genius today. Look at her, she nods now. Yes, I'm a genius. If I say she's an idiot, she goes, no. If I say you're a genius, she goes, yes. So, no, she's been superb. She brought, um, what is it? We've got a camp stove and stuff, and we're on the lake. Oh, there's a tow, tow boat. And it's really beautiful. I'll give you a quick tour of where we are. So lake, lake, bus, we just come out in there, we've got a road behind us, there's the Yosh making a uh, tea. It's very, very pretty, isn't it? Right guys, it says, it says here that this is the, um, 
Bugio. So basically, Bugio is the Bugio is the commander, but that's in the military days. In the peace days, he became like a magistrate. So you got to imagine that's the mag the old site of the magistrate's office. So when you read this in the Bansen Shukai and the Shonin Kian. Uh, well, in the Natori documents, so that's what they're talking about, like an, an official. In the Sengoku period, that's someone who's actually in military command. In the Edo period, it's more of someone who gets rid of civil disputes, things like that. The shrine's this way up there. Sorry, temple. Shrine, temple, where are we going? I know, both. Yeah, both. So the shrine, temple, stroke between the two is up this way. <laughs> Yoshe, tell me it's a bit of both. Uh, often a lot of people think that shrines and temples are absolutely separate in Japan, they're not. Sometimes they're mixed in together and it gets really... People think it's quite easy to sell the two apart, but they can become really difficult if they've been mixed together. Daiyu. From here. <laughs> so basically, we're apparently we're at the uh, graveyard of the third shogun. What was the third shogun's name yesterday? Iemitsu. Iemitsu, right. So, because he's the grandson of Tokugawa Yasu. Right, I still get them all confused, but we'll get there in the end. Um, so, of course, we're not at Tokugawa's grave yet, as in Iyasu, Iyasu, but we're getting closer. This is exactly what Yoshie's house is like. <laughs> this impressive. <laughs> so, do you want to live here, Yoshi? In a graveyard. <laughs> it's very impressive, guys. I don't know if it comes across on the video, but the trees are massive. The building is just impressive. Sometimes it's a little bit of a letdown, but not, not today. So it's a bit, as you can tell, guys, it's a bit of a complex uh, of, of, of shrine stroke temples. Yoshe is not doing her job correctly. She is the translator and she wants to get me an English audio guide so I don't so she doesn't have to translate. She's forgot what her job is, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the switch? Translate. Go. Ayako. <laughs> You're such an angel, Yoshie. You touch me, I know the place, so you can hear the guys. Oh, sounds amazing. <laughs> We're in front of buildings that are hundreds of years old, in front of the graveyard of one of the most powerful men in the world, and Yoshie thinks the fact that you touch this with this is the most interesting thing. <laughs> she thinks that's mega interesting. First time here. She's like, oh, that's dead interesting that you get to touch the little stuff. <laughs> so, Yoshi, I, I can have a go at Yoshi on the camera because she won't get on the camera. But when I get off this camera, she has a right go at me. I promise you, she proper ripped into me. Right, guys, we've got a translation going. Basically, this is the stable. Basically, this is the stable. So, you can see it says, um, Hear no evil, speak no evil, see no evil. And that's where, on the right there, that's where the guard used to stand, the groom and the horse guard for the horses, and the horses used to stay in there. 
Right, apparently these monkeys here, there are I think eight or nine sculptures and they go from birth to death all the way through telling the story of everything. Just on this side. So when you go into a shrine basically you've got to wash your hands and perform evolutions and everything and basically purification and they're normally quite um, plain affairs but this is a little bit gold. Amazing actually. Hi guys, right, so this one here is the, it's called the revolving shelf basically. There's like a revolving element inside with mantras on. And uh, you can't quite see inside though. Oh, I forgot. Okay. That beyond. Belt out behind there. What you got? Right, we're just orientating ourselves there, guys. So basically, we've got the bell on this side, and technically, should be the drum on that side, or probably what used to house the drum. And uh, the how we're not sure what they are behind the actual housing of the bell. There's one on either side, not sure yet. So, the this is the gate that's under um, restoration, so we can't actually see it. Now that is really nice guys. On the other side. Can you see those there, guys? Them. They're what hook the windows up. And the windows, remember, the Banks and Shukai talked about all this. Like they're different things. It's hard to visualize it. And the sticks in the window. It's getting a bit wet now, chaps. Right, guys, we've finally, finally reached it. Me and the Osh, it's good fun actually. But here, this is the, uh, the main grave of Tokugawa Yasu. The gateway going in. We we're just discussing how it's strange it is that um, just like what we would term inverted commas, average people going round the grave, which was once cut off for everyone, but you know the high society. So we're having good fun, actually, guys. It's, uh, it's all quite impressive. It's really impressive. Yeah. It's like proper sort of flamboyant and detailed. What are you saying? Right, guys. We're just discussing, and we don't know. Is a, when did cremation start in Japan? And obviously, it's not like there's this day and it started. That you know, it went through phases. And but we don't know whether Togarayasu was cremated or not cremated. So uh, we're just discussing there is actual physical remains in there. Is it just ash? There's also two other shrines where, if it is ash, parts of the ash will be there. Is divided between. But this is the main one, of course. It's massive. So we don't actually know whether his physical body is in there, whether his ashes in there, or whether his ashes are not there at all. We just don't know. But this is the main sort of graveyard for him. We're just talking about apparently Yoshi has just been on the audio machine and uh, apparently it's all covered in brass and lacquered black. It was like really, really expensive over there on that building. Some sort of tree worshipping section. I'm not sure yet, I've got to get to the sign. So this is what we were talking about before, the, what you see, the little studs, this was once covered in bronze. Is it actually still the bronze there? I think so. Yeah, it's darkened, but maybe lacquered, maybe not, we're not sure. But you can see it was once going to be probably really, really black, and that was probably really, really gold. Uh, this building. 
So, Yoshi was just telling me that we're on this audio guide, it's saying that this building here, which is pretty much next to the, um, the, oh, come on, Anthony, the gateway up to the grave is where the documents were stored from, where the emperor, you know, authorized, or, you know, in Verticon was authorized because he just took over the country, him to rule the country. So that's where the documents were stored. Obviously, probably not anymore. Shoes off time. So the audio guys say that on the top, the dragons are for the daytime, was it yesterday? The dragons are for the daytime, and this mad creature there, that one, is uh, for the nighttime. So daytime guardian, daytime guardian, nighttime guardian. Oh, sorry chaps. Right guys, the wall here going round is a... Um, Turns out that it's obviously original. It's 180 meters long. The line of animals there are from the mountain, and the line of animals there are waterfowl, uh, things that float on the water. And it's a national treasure, literally. It's behind pane glass now. Just coming back out now, guys. We're just leaving. Yoshi did a mint job, actually. She uh, loads of info. It's quite good. I used to love Hanya masks, but now a little bit. No thanks. But typical gift shop, they're always the same. These look quite nice. Ramen time now. It's cold, wet. It's not so cold, eh? It's a uh, wet ramen time. Hot Japanese soup. Not soup. I can't even think now. <laughs> Hot Japanese tea and some ramen, it'll be nice. I think me and Yoshi are a bit tired up a bit early now. My camera's away. Right, guys, just want to show you something. Is this is Nabe? What's in it, Yoshi? Ch chicken balls, ch fish, tara. Right. Well, what's the green stuff? I don't know English. Oh, okay. Fish. Oh, okay. Yeah, so. Tofu. Tofu. You mean crap cheese? <laughs> <laughs> right, guys, this is an ad bake pop. Basically, you, you, you wait for it to boil. Instead of dinner being ready, you have to watch it cook. <laughs> <laughs> but it's really nice, actually. It's a winter food, so I'm here at your says it's winter. Right, why have I got to show it again, Yoshi? Oh, you're eating? Oh, it's alright, just take your time. <laughs> so apparently Yoshi is upset with me because I didn't film it because it was boiling, but now it's boiling. <laughs> no, so here it is boiling, guys. So basically, you just cook away. And you add more in as you eat away, you add more. Well, this seems quite a lot for us, actually. 